Okay, Assalamualaikum guys. So, today we are going to learn about graph of motions. So, this topic, uh, we have two subtopics in here. One is distance time graph, another one is speed time graph. Okay, so the distance time graph, so basically, uh, we're going to have a graph which the vertical axis represents the distance while the horizontal axis represents the time. So, can you imagine how the graph looks like? basically like this okay so the distance time graph here distance and the time okay so how do we draw a distance time graph we need the distance time table or at least we have the equation that represents the relationship between the distance and time so in here we have an uh, example so let's look at example one okay. okay example one we're given the table and then we need to draw the distance time graph based on the table okay let's try to draw the graph distance uh, the vertical axis is for the distance distance while the horizontal axis is for the time okay the time in minutes while the distance in kilometer so first look at the data uh, we have quite uh, we have a uniform scale here so start from 0 30 60 90 120 and 150 okay, with a gap of 30 each and then the distance also uniform scale 20 30, 40, 50. Okay, then we plot. Okay, we have five points. Okay, wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five points. And then what we're gonna do is just to join all the points. Join all the points. Okay, join all the points. And then we already have the distance time graph. So here is just a missing point. Okay. That one is much better. Okay, so this is our distance time graph. So let's look at example 2, where for example 2, we don't have the data. Okay, example 2, Mr. Salvador Vizca for a distance of 240 km from Kuala Lumpur to Kuantan in 3 hours to visit his mother. The distance that Mr. Sava travel in T hours is given by the equation S equals to ATT. Okay, and then uh, we need to draw a distance time graph to represent Mr. Sava journey from Kuala Lumpur to Kuantan. So the equation is S equals to ATT. So what are going? What are we going to do with this equation? We're gonna create the distance time table. So the time, sorry, the time should be in hours. Why? Because we were given that he drove for three hours. So for three hours, so better we make it in hours. So zero, one, two. Three and the distance here is basically eighty times t. Okay, 
So, 80 times 0 is 0, 80 times 180, 160, and 240. So, we have a table. So, the table here, from the table, we're going to draw the graph. So, the graph. The graph. So you have the distance up here on the vertical axis and the time here, time in hours, distance in kilometer of course. Okay, kilometer. So how many points do we have? Four. Okay, and how are we gonna plot the uh, the numbers on the axis? Okay, zero, one. 2, 3, make sure they are all uniform, 80, 160, and 2, 40. Okay guys, just a reminder, you got, you must use ruler, okay, you must use ruler for drawing the graph, okay, so let's put the point, Then we join all the points here. Then we got the graph. Okay. So guys, remember you got to use ruler. So here we have the graph already. Okay. So let's look at example 3. Example 3. Okay. Just the Singh takes part in an 8km cross-country event organized by the school during National Sports Day. The relationship between distance from the finishing line and the time of the run is S equals to 8 minus 1 over 5T, where S is the distance in perimeter and T is the time in minutes. Draw a distance time graph to represent Just the Singh's run for the duration uh, T in between 0 and 40. Okay. So, what do we need to do first? Take out the equation. So the equation. Mm -hmm. The equation is S equals to 8 minus 1 over 5 T. Okay, so from the equation. So we got to uh, create the table. The distance timetable. Okay, here is the time, and down here is the distance. Okay, class. Since we're gonna we're gonna draw a graph of a straight lines, so what we need to do is actually we just need to have two points the end points the beginning and the end points okay so we start from 0 and take 40 so only these two times matters you can have more but in the end you're gonna have the same straight line okay so cut the time short so 0 here 8 minus 1 over 5 times 0 8 minus 0 equals to 8 1 over 40 8 8 minus 8 zero okay so here we have the table already so how does the graph looks like the time and the distance the time in minutes and the distance in kilometer okay we start from zero and we end at 40 but uh, the axis doesn't look nice so why don't we add up some more numbers 10 20 30 okay so uh, the distance 8 and then 0 so from 0 to 8 so why don't we have 2 4 Eight, and then we plot 
we plot 0 and 8, 0 here, 8 up here, 40 and 0. Then we just join the points. Okay. Okay. So we got the straight line already. So can you see about uh, the gradient? It's a negative gradient, right? Okay, good. Okay, so that's how actually we draw the distance time. Okay, very simple, very easy. It's just you need more practices. So why don't you try answering these two questions? Questions 2 and question 4. Okay, give it a try. Alright, thank you.